Now for a story on two ladies whose rough upbringings could have left them in ruins, but both made the most out of things and created a name for themselves. With Danielle Brigoli landing a huge new deal to Amber Rose opening up about how she got out of having to sell drugs to survive, both social media stars are continuing to rise. <laughs> I gotta hand it to Danielle Brigoli. She's seriously slaying the game. What's up, Holly Scoopers? I'm Kate DeRocher, and I'll explain Cash Me Outside Girl's newest business endeavor, plus one of Amber Rose's old ones coming up. Numero uno on our story list is Cash Me Outside Girl, because she is having one amazing week. Bad Baby just landed a six-month endorsement deal with Copycat Beauty, and that deal is worth $900,000. Show me the money! Someone's about to be rolling in the dough and the blush. The company, which I'd say is about to be put on the map, all thanks to Danielle, will pay the rapper to promote their makeup and beauty products, and she'll even get a percentage of their sales. Now that is one sweet deal. I want whoever is doing Danielle's negotiating to be on my team. And maybe Kylie Jenner should too. While Kai's to die for cosmetic company is valued at nearly $1 billion, Bad Baby is clearly on her way to building a major business empire for herself. Should Kai be worried? Are Danielle and Kylie going to be up against each other in the makeup biz? Time will tell. My bet though is that for now, Kylie isn't going to pay this any mind. As you know, Danielle's bashed Kylie in the past, accusing her of wearing too much makeup and having tons of work done, even making fun of her in one of her raps. Money green like a yeah, my so swole, uh. But yet, Kylie's kept it classy and hasn't said one bad thing about the rising rapper, at least not in public. And Danielle learned now rather than later that real women fix each other's crowns and not knock them off. In other social media star news, we have Amber Rose, who just let us know some shocking information. While chatting with Van Lathan on the Red Pill podcast, Amber revealed she was way too close to having to sell drugs to survive. Hear yourself. I usually don't tell people this because I never want to tell a sob story, and there's so much more that goes into this. I tried selling drugs. I tried selling crack in my neighborhood. They said I was going to get robbed. I was a girl and I was too pretty and it wasn't gonna happen. Well, thank goodness that was the case because if not, Amber's life could have gone in a totally different direction. Sadly though, while Amber wasn't out on the street dealing, she did admit that she was still involved with drugs. She went on to say that she would quote, bag and weigh the crack rocks for them and they would throw me some money. Her reasoning for this was that she quote, needed to do what I needed to do to survive. According to Amber, people don't realize how rough things were where she grew up and that quote, I don't think they understand really where I am from. The shit I had to overcome and even overcame after I became famous. As tough as that is, I applaud Amber for always being honest about her past and for getting herself out of all of that. Are you impressed by these two ladies? Speak up with your reactions below. After that, don't go anywhere because we've got even more for you coming up.